In this video, we're looking at a landing page template called Response. Now you can see it here on the screen. Straight away, the first thing that catches your eye is the large hero image on the background, which is fixed on scroll. And you can see there as I just scroll, the image is fixed in place. And then in front of that, we have the large headline font, which stands out with that supporting headline underneath and then directly drops into the call to action button here that you can see. And when we click on it, we have the overlay optimizer pop up with uh, opt-in form inside so you can capture leads directly through that opt-in form. And then below that, you'll notice we have a small little play icon and this can be used if we click on it, it opens up the overlay optimizer and you see we've got video content inside. So we're using two call to actions here. We have one for the email and then we have one for the content. So we're using the first one to capture their email address when they land on the page. And then this one, if they're intrigued or curious, they'll click on and they may be able to see a tour or a demo of your product or your service. Then going down, we've used some icons here or some logos from companies. Again, a bit of social proof or brand awareness. If people land on this landing page, they can see these recognized company names. So if you have them, you want to put them on your own landing pages as proof of companies you've worked with or people who are using your service. And then going further down, you'll notice here we've got this image over to the right hand side of the page, which it goes all the way to the edge of the page. It's not fixed in place. Um, it goes always to the edge of the screen, so if you're on a large screen, it'll keep going to the edge, and if you minimize this down, it'll actually, you know, on a smaller screen, it'll still be seen. If you go down to mobile, it'll actually disappear. So this image over on the right here is there on the browser, on a desktop, and on iPads, but you go down to like uh, my mobile devices, it actually removes, okay? So that's it's quite a nice touch, it means you can still read this text on the left here when you're on a mobile device. You can see here we've put a headline above with a small text block underneath and some custom icons that we've created just to highlight different benefits. Now you'll notice with this template as we scroll down we go to the left hand side of the it was the image which brings the eye over to the right hand side. As we go further down again it does the same. And you can keep using this structure as much as you like just to break up the content. If you have product shots you want to use them in these so people can see different products or different parts of your product. Maybe if it's a DVD and you have ebooks, you could show different courses or different modules in this way. As the eye is drawn across it goes down it goes back over to the right hand side and it's just a natural flow. And it flows all the way down the page. You can see we've kept that same color contrast in every row as well We're using the same blue icons which matches our blue designs that we've got of course you could change these to match your own design switch it out with whatever images you're using you know and put in your own custom icons but there's a clean flow throughout that template We're using the same font styles font colors and icon colors you'll notice that all the way through that page now as we go further down we've included another row here this time with another image in the background and again we've put in that little tiny call to action here on the little play button. Above that we've also got the, temp, um, the testimonial which has come through. People will stop and read these testimonials and if they click on this again they could either see a testimonial or this time they could see another tour of your product. You'll notice this time on this overlay optimizer we've kept the video in place. So you could play around with that if you like. You could change this to match the um, overlay optimizer at the top where it comes flush to the edge of the overlay or you can obviously put content inside and have a border on it. So you can, two options there, you can play around with your overlay optimizer. Um, going further down, we've got a simple four column row put in here with some text showing some stats some numbers. Maybe you have some figures that you can use on your landing page to encourage people to maybe click through or to opt in. And then going right to the bottom, we have that last call to action again, set on the white font and that darker background so it stands out. And again, that blue color, when we click on it, we have the opt-in form got the progress bar in it again, headline, and then we've got a place for your name and email. Again, keeping the colors throughout this overlay optimizer and this template. So it's a lovely design. We've kept it very clean using all the same colors, but you can freely mix it up. Do what you like with this template. I'm going to show you how quickly you edit these images that you see here. Okay, so if I open up the live editor. Okay, now here I am inside the live editor. And what we'll do, we'll scroll down, just look at this first row here with these iPhones you've got in the background. Now, this is a simple background image. The image is set um, to the right hand side using some CSS. So what I'll do is I'll show you the image first and then I'll jump in and show the CSS. So we have the image here. Now you can see the image itself is a large image still and the image, the main part of the image is set over to the right hand side. 
and if I sort of drag this onto the darker, you can see, if I drag it there, you can sort of see the size of that image, okay? So the image is still set over to the right in the actual image itself, but then what we've done is included this CSS class you can see here that says background right. Now what that does, that fixes the background in that position over to the right hand side. So it doesn't allow it to stretch or it doesn't allow it to tile across. And we also have, you can see here at the bottom, we have cover and stretch set here. So what this is doing is just fixing that image over to the right hand side of the page. So we've used this background CSS right. And obviously for the images on the left, we're using background CSS class, which is just called left. So if I go and look at this one, you can see here background left. So same with this image. Again, this image actually has a lot of white spacing over on the right. So there's a sort of image. I'm dragging it in here so you can sort of see here. The image does have a lot of white space on the right. So that pushes, pushes obviously over to the left. But then we use this, the background CSS to fix it on the left hand side, which pushes it flush to the edge of the page. Okay, now I'll show you just the CSS where that is included. If we go to page settings here and inside other scripts, expand this down. Now inside here, this is the CSS. Now the first part of CSS here is where it says body attachment fixed. Now that's the first hero image. That's the main background image that you saw at the top of the page. That's where it's set to fix there, no repeat. This is that CSS which fixes it in place. And you can see here we've got the background um, right position and the background left position. So they're the CSS telling that image to tuck over to either left or right hand side. So if you know a bit of CSS, you can obviously play around with that. But that's it, that's the template. It's called Response, it's available in the Clubhouse now. You can download it and as always, we'd love to see it on your site. Drop us a tweet or share on Facebook so we can see it live in action. Thank you.